Okay, so remember, these videos are unbiased. Nothing is absolute. A video does not define who I am or what I believe in. I just allow my mind to roam freely and to try to help people within certain areas that they may be struggling in, you know, within their life. But I'm all open to your opinions, what life has taught you. You know, you tell me what, use your own judgment and you tell me. But I want to talk about not being so naive to love and the power of love because I think a lot of times we may think we are in love with somebody or we're in love with something to where that feeling becomes so strong that we may begin to ignore red flags. And the more you begin to ignore red flags, it leaves the relationship down a blind path. And the more blind you become, the worse it will get. A lot of us may have the belief that we need to invest 100% of who we are into somebody else. But when you invest 100% of who you are into somebody else, you start to set an expectation for how that relationship should be, what it could be, and how it should unfold. But if you know, expectations are the worst thing that you can do for yourself. You should never have an expectation. You should never expect somebody to cheat on you. You should never expect somebody to lie to you. You should never expect somebody to stab you in your back. You should never expect any of these negative things. But you should have the awareness that people can do that. You should have the awareness that feelings can change. People can change. Life can change a person. Life experiences can change a person. You don't know what somebody's going to feel like five or ten years down the line. You don't know if somebody's still going to be in love with you five or ten years down the line. You have no idea. So when you start to set an expectation and you start to invest 100% of who you are into that other person, if that relationship crumbles or it fails, all of you is going to be left with them, To which is why we become heartbroken, which is why we feel like we've lost our sense of self within our own life. We become sad, we become depressed. Our whole life just becomes one big negative feeling. You should always keep a part of you for you because if you leave a part of you for you, you will not get your heart broken 100%. Your heart may break, it may hurt, it may feel sad, it may feel depressed, but you recover on a quicker scale. You recover on a quicker scale. You know, it goes, this is an example. If you were going to, if you have a million dollars, that's all you had to your name, and there's one stock or there's one cryptocurrency that you can invest in, would you invest $1 million, every single dollar you have into that stock or that cryptocurrency? No, you wouldn't invest all of your money because that's all you have to your name because it could tank. And if it tanks, you lose everything. But... It could go, it could skyrocket. You never know. You never know. But if you keep a little bit for yourself over time, if it trends up, you're not really at a loss. You can start to give more and more and more and more of yourself to that person because you see the relationship going at a higher pace. But if it does tank, you still have some for you. You still have some love for yourself. You still have those feelings for yourself. You can recover quicker because you have something to fall back on. We shouldn't be naive to, 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 to what love can be because I think a lot of us may judge the other person based on their appearance, their, their appearance, what they can offer you, how they dress, what they do for a living, how much money they have. But you should never judge love by those characteristics. You should never judge somebody by, by those appearances. Never. What does their mind say about them? What does their heart say about them? Are you able to have deep, intimate soul connections? Are you able to have deep, intimate conversations with that person? Are you able to challenge each other's belief? Are you able to have a wrestling match to, to bring out their greatest potential? It's all about becoming one. It's all about learning to see things on a similar level. You know, sometimes we look at discrepancy as a fault. But just because we don't see things on a similar level doesn't mean that we can't learn to see things on a similar level. That's why relationships are a risk. Everything is a risk. From the minute you were born was a risk. But I want to know that I can invest a part of myself into somebody knowing that they're going to invest the same amount back. 
Are they willing to take that risk with you? Are they willing to accept that challenge with you? Or if arguments arise, are they willing to walk away for a minute and come back and have a normal adult conversation? Are they willing to challenge you? Because if you're around people who just constantly nod their head, it's going to get you nowhere. It doesn't challenge you. It doesn't, we don't have the, the room to grow. You want somebody who's not going to agree with you, somebody that does challenge you. Because who knows, you could be wrong. But just because we may think that we are in love with somebody, that person could be there just for a learning lesson. Because what we're in love with may just be the idea of them. We're not judging by the mind and the heart. We're judging by on their appearance. We're judging them for what we think we are in love with without really seeing the full observation of what that person can offer you. Judge by the mind and heart. Don't fully invest 100% of who you are into somebody else. Because if they take all of that, they're going to run with it all, which leaves you empty. It feels like a part of your soul has been left with them. Just something to think about. You want somebody who's, who, can, who you can grow with. You want somebody who you can grow with, man. You know, how that person treats himself is how they're going to treat you. Pay attention. Observe them. How do they treat themselves? Because how they treat themselves is a direct reflection of you. That relationship is a direct reflection of you. So if we're having a lot of arguments, right? We're not seeing eye to eye. The relationship is starting to crumble. Take a look from within first. See what you can fix within yourself first. Then go back and try to fix the relationship. But you have to make sure that person is willing to work to work out these arguments. You have to make sure that person is willing to help this relationship grow. Is it worth fighting for? But if you're willing to fight for that love from within, you should be willing to fight for that love from without. Without. I don't even know. Is that even a word? You get what I'm saying. Just think about it. How does that person treat you? Does their face light up every single day when they see you? Do they feel happy around you? Do you feel happy around them? Does the feeling that, does that spark ever fade? It should never fade. You should feel like a child around them. You should want to explore the world. You should want to take on the world with them. You should want to do everything with them. But at the same time, challenge each other so you guys can grow, so we can grow. That's what it's about. That's true love. That's true love. It's not easy. Anything worthwhile, you're going to have to fight for. Anything worthwhile, you're going to have to fight for. All right? I love you guys, and as always, peace and love.